Hello everybody, hope you're having a fantastic day today. Thank you so much for checking out the video. Today we are going to be talking about a new currency that is going to be added with the next major update and a new scoreboard. And what you're seeing on the screen right now is looking like it's going to be changed forever. So let's get into it here. Just want to say big shout out to Nuka Knights. Thank you for providing all this information for us today. I will leave links in the descriptions to videos that they have on these topics and a website that's just extremely informative. Actually goes into more detail than I do in the video. I kind of just graze over this stuff. So check them out, everybody. Okay, so... Um, I do have the private test server finally set up, but I was a little late to the show, so I missed out on it. So again, thank you, uh, Nuka Knights, for, for providing these pictures. But this is what you'll see, and uh, welcome to the seasons. You earn tickets to unlock rewards now. Um, complete challenges to gain ranks and earn tickets. Basically, we're going to be earning tickets now to unlock stuff. Now, from first glance at this, like, this is just on the PTS as well, so it is subject to change. But this just seems like another way to add currency. I, I don't honestly get it. But anyway, you can still buy ranks. With the new system, you can also buy ranks just like you can now on the game board. But I'm going to show you a little later on in the video that it's just like pages and you can... It, it might even be better, actually, because it looks like you can actually unlock maybe what you want now. But there is a battle pass involved, it looks like, as well. Unless you have Fallout first, I would assume. I don't think that will apply. You'll just already have that. So anyway, join Fallout first or purchase Season Pass, right? Subscribe to Fallout first for additional benefits. Um, you know, private adventures, monthly atoms, survival tent, scrap box, ammo box, custom worlds, ranger outfit, and more. And I'm assuming the battle pass is going to be for all the items on the scoreboard that are labeled like battle pass stuff, or which used to be Fallout first stuff. I could be wrong. This is confusing me, to be honest, a little bit. Um, unlo unlock uh, access to um, season rewards for the remainder of the season. So that's that ticket right there that I'm showing on the right there, I'm assuming that'll unlock these Fallout First rewards for you um, instead of having to get Fallout First for that. So like I said, that's kind of a good thing. It's not, you know, bad. This way you don't have to get Fallout First if you want. You can use Atoms. And anyway, in the coming Season 16, the game board will no longer be used in its current form. Season 16 will go live on March 26, 2024, and an update, or sorry, with update Atlantic City America's Playground. So this is the second half of the Atlantic City update. We're actually going to get some actual quest line involved in it or quest missions and it looks like you will be able to fast travel to Atlantic City as well without having to start an expedition so I'm really looking forward to that myself. Um, this is how the new season will work. Instead of the old scoreboard there will be a new logic to get the rewards. The usual challenges will remain. Through completing the challenges you receive score points which are those tickets I would assume. Um, these score points in return increase your score rank and then you will receive 25 tickets per rank this is so confusing these tickets are a new currency for you to then choose rewards for the season this means you can only choose the rewards that you want now see i think that's a great thing that you can actually choose the rewards that you want but um, as i said i'm going to show you later on in the video it involves pages so i don't know if you can just go to new pages or if you have to unlock a certain amount of things before you can go to the new pages i would assume you can't go right to the end of the uh, battle pass to unlock the ones you want. I'm just assuming it's on the page that you're on. But like I said, who knows what's really coming out too because we're going to have to wait for this to actually be live. And it's not for like another month almost, so there's probably going to be some changes. The rewards are divided into 10 pages. 10 rewards per page. Depending on your rank in the season, you will receive access to additional pages. Okay, so I understand that a little bit more now. You will probably get access to the second page from rank 10 to the third rank 20, etc. The rewards list costs more or less tickets. Ah, okay. You can choose their, or sorry, you can choose which ones you want sooner or later on the pages that you have unlocked. Just keep that in mind. So I'm gonna show you some stuff here too a little later on, not too much later in the video here. I think I'm 
one page away from showing you some of the rewards that we're going to get this season. And again, I will link videos in the description. Nuka Knight shows all the new rewards that we're getting on this battle pass or scoreboard or whatever you want to call it. So I highly recommend you check that out, guys. Like I said, I just kind of touched upon this and I'm going to show like three or four of the pages just in case, um, like spoiler alert too, if you don't want to see any of these things. So, <laughs> this is what the page looks like. We can see we got the new cremator there, or a skin for it, I should say, which we're going to be able to unlock in this uh, scoreboard as well. Um, it's called Dual Devil, I guess? Duel with the Devil, sorry. So, I, th I feel like there's going to be another major quest line where we actually get to fight the... Uh, Jersey Devil as well, which would be very cool. But this is actually pretty nice, actually. I think this could be an improvement, actually. Um, like I said, we'll have to see when it comes out, and then I'll make my own decision. Let me know in the comments what you guys are thinking about this. It has me excited and confused all at the same time. Um, there's the Cremator. I'm really looking forward to using that weapon. Um, you can see we're getting some cool gun skins for the lever action rifle there specifically, although I'm pretty sure it's coming on extra weapons as well. Um, we got the Ultrasight scrap boxes again, which I didn't think were the greatest if I'm being honest, but yeah, just another thing for us to get. I like the Vault-Tec supply packages better. Um, World of Cryptids trunk, I'm guessing that's a stash box, I could be wrong. And there is the uh, Peeper's paint it's called actually for the shotgun, the pump shotgun. And it looks like the devilish paint is what we're getting for the power armor paints this year for the, um, not the final reward. This looks to be the final reward here for the power armor paint, which is cryptid hunter paint. And I've seen other images on this. I think it was on Uranium Fever's video, if I'm not mistaken. Check him out too, everybody. Awesome YouTuber. And the pictures I've seen for this cryptid hunter paint, it looks absolutely amazing. Look at the jet pack you get with it too. Definitely some cool stuff coming this season. So aside from it just being a little bit confusing um i hope i did my best there trying to explain it there i hope i didn't confuse you guys any further definitely check out nuka nights everybody and as always thank you so much for watching have a pleasant evening